Kenny Caraway. It's time for the handoff. The handoff uh, could be sponsored by you if uh, if you wanted to. Uh, your thoughts. Is Bronny James the most overhyped player since LeBron? Uh, the most overhyped player since LeBron? No, nah, I don't think so. I don't think he's like really. I, I mean, there's there's a lot of attention on him. In, in, yeah, yeah. And overhyped. But I don't know if anybody is like uh, – Maybe I'm going too literal with the word overhype, but nobody's saying he's like this great basketball player. That's it. They're just kind of talking about how he got into the league and yeah. his dad and all this other stuff. So I wouldn't say overhype, but he, he's definitely covered, you know, mm -hmm. more than your average second year guy or undrafted guy. That's that's for sure. You can't yeah. can't deny that. But uh, yeah, I don't think he's overhyped. Uh, let's put a pin in all the Lakers stuff. Uh, DeMar DeRozan. Hey, man, come on. Now. Come on now. We got one. We got one. Yeah, man, I like that. I like that a lot. I feel good about it. I feel good about the prospects of this team as is. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about it a little bit more on the show, but as is, I feel good about this team. I know um, James reported, you know, they're still possibly not done. They're still trying to work some things out, yeah. see if they can make something happen. But And that would be great, too. Mm -hmm. But if they weren't able to, I feel good about this team as is, man. I, th I think that was a, a really good move. I think that offense is going to be dynamic. It's going to be maybe a little different. Mm -hmm. than we're used to as far as like the threes and stuff like that. Yeah. But getting another shot creator in there um, is, is going to greatly uh, help out everybody involved. Um, and then just kind of moving everybody down a tier, right? Like, so, yeah. So bonus was your second score, right? He's probably not your second score in an ideal situation, probably more of your third score because you don't, you don't like give him the ball and tell him to go to work. He might be Fox he, monk. DeRozan or Fox DeRozan Monk in some order. Yeah, yeah, and 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 the the great thing about that is when I say that's not what Sabonis does. Is Sabonis can be your your quote unquote fourth option and still get you seventeen and, and yeah, no doubt. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. What I mean, because he just works. You know yep. what I mean? He he works. You know, somebody dishing off to him. He's there in the dunker spot. He works on the boards. He gets fouled. He goes to the line. So I don't think his production is going to slip much at all. Maybe one or two points, maybe, mm -hmm. but that his his looks aren't going to be affected by the Rosen and even Monk possibly being in that starting. Uh, James, I know you got a press to go cover, so go do that. We appreciate you. See you tomorrow. See you, See you guys tomorrow. James Hammer, everybody. Be on. Be back with the insiders. Ten to noon, manana. Ten to noon. Um. Be yeah, man. I when when I first got wind that like, hey, this is the thing that's going on. Mm -hmm. My gut reaction, like I literally I talked about this yesterday, I was walking down the stairs reading my phone. And I was like, ew, like this is just, that feels so desperate. Mm. That feels like a move just to like, oh gosh, marketing, no, Ingram, no, whatever happened with Kuzma, uh, DeMar DeRozan, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how, like my initial read on it. Mm -hmm. But then just kind of the more I thought about it, the more I'm like, man, they did need a shot creator. That'll help. Okay, that'll help there. Well, you know, Keegan still shoots threes. De'Aaron Fox is more of a high volume three guy now. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he, I think he can fit the two or the three. He's not a bad defender. He's just not. And I think I got well, no, real I get, quick. I'm sorry, but nobody even talking about his defense till till he just got here. Nobody was nobody. The ringer, all these people. There was nobody talking about DeRozan's defense till two days ago. Then, oh well, you know he's not that good of a defender, and that's what. Shut, shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. None of y'all was talking about his defense. Now all of a sudden that's a problem. Stop. Sorry. You good? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do think I do think that's super funny though. That that whenever like, it was DeRozan to the Clippers or the Lakers, it was all about like, oh man, if he, DeRozan, that's where he's gonna go. He's going home, right? He's going to he's going to one of the LA teams. Mm -hmm. And then the Kings sign him, <laughs> and it's like, what does he do for their defense? I mean, honestly, <laughs> look, I get there's two sides of the ball, and I I appreciate and yeah. respect that. I appreciate what Keon Ellis did for the Kings last year. Yes. I think putting Keon Ellis in the starting lineup was a a plus the way the games were called, but more so Keon being in the starting lineup, I think dramatically altered the way the Kings played defense. Mm -hmm. And I think if Malik Monk stays healthy, I think it's a key reason why they go to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't want to underestimate the importance of that. But I also don't want to overestimate the importance of a single player. On Look, if he was just dude, can't guard a stoplight like he is just a non-factor he's going to give up more points than he scores this is a net negative for the game then okay but bro, he is not it is not 
you have to be so bad at defense mm-hmm. to be good enough offensively or or to to me not for me to discount what he's going to give them offensively. Mm. Mm. Facts. And I, I just I, I don't I mean, and what it, are they gonna do defensively? I don't know. Figure it out, probably. <laughs> just, just, they'll be fine. <laughs> where where they end up being like 15 this year, they'll probably be yeah, around there again yeah. this year. The the Can other you, thing look, about that. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. The the big thing with, with defense, and I, I said this going into last year for the Kings, mm-hmm. because you 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 talked about it when it, you and I got in a discussion on, on D Lo and KC about about how uh, the Kings needed to improve their defense. That was a problem against the Warriors and this and that. It's like, can you get a stop in crunch time? Mm. Down the stretch, mm-hmm. you have four dudes now who you feel good about. Ball in their hands are going to go get you a bucket. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But can you get that stop down the stretch? Can can And I think with De'Aaron Fox, I think with Keegan Murray, I, I think DeRozan will be, like I said, I don't think he's a he's a negative defender. I you agree. can put Keon out there if you if you really need to in a closing lineup. Right. And you feel really good about your ability to like, hey, we're going to go bucket for bucket. We're going to get the one stop. We need to win this. Facts. 100%. That's right. 100%. Man. I'm with you. Kyle is turning into me right here. This defense doesn't matter. He's turning into me. I've talked I've worked on this no, situation no. for a while, no. and now Kyle is turning into me. Defense doesn't matter. That's a misnomer about me too, by the way. Defense does matter. But. You got to get buckets. It's a little overboard. Yeah, you got, you got it. You, you got it. You got to go get a bucket. Absolutely. Uh, Kenny Caraway coming up next. Uh, no D-Lo. Just Kenny. You got friends coming in? Kenny and friends coming in. Love and it. we'll be having that DeMar DeRozan press conference live on the show as well. Can't wait. I'm glad d Rose came home. Hey. That didn't deserve from me. Hey. <laughs> this has been the Insider, sponsored by Jiffy Lube. Uh, Casey, hey. coming up next on ESPN 1320. James and I will be back with you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Until then, drink water and be nice, people. Bye.